we take the dollar off of the gold standard and what happens? Well, now we need to protect the dollar. The best way to protect the dollar is by doing the following. It's by figuring out how can the entire world spend money and that the money that they spend is dollarized. So they go to Saudi Arabia and they broker a deal with the Saudis saying, hey, you know what? We'll protect you. We'll protect your kingdom. We'll fuck up the Syrians. We'll fuck up everybody. We'll protect you. We'll be your strong force. We'll keep you in power. But in return, you can only sell your oil in dollars. A lot of countries have started buying oil from Russia without the dollar because of all the sanctions. What does this do? This undermines the value of the dollar. The moment the dollar stops being the world reserve currency, we are in a terrible situation. You have to ask yourself, are Russia and China serious about this? The answer is yes. And Ray Dalio talks about this, guys. In the books that I recommend, the 11 books that made you rich, right here, The Changing World Order by Ray Dalio, he actually talks about how currencies are actually gonna get absolutely crushed, especially the US dollar when it's in the decline. What happened this week is absolutely groundbreaking and was probably the biggest story of the last 30 years, but it hardly got any news coverage at all. Does that surprise any of you? No, they got you fucking talking about monkeypox and they got you talking about fucking Pelosi visiting Taiwan. That's when these fucking clowns come and ask me these dumbass questions about what do you think mon about monkeypox? I don't give a fuck, bro. It's a distraction. One of the most important stories of our lifetime happened this week. Literally, bro. One of the most important things in our entire life just happened, which is the two other superpowers that have a high likelihood. Bro, these motherfuckers put TikTok in the system and they said, you know what? Let's push twerking and fucking bullshit videos and divide everybody and make them dumb as fuck. Whether it's Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, TikTok, Instagram, these companies, they hire psychologists and they hire data analysts at a massive level, the best in the world to keep you fucking connected and hooked on your phone, bro. Spend a billion, $2 billion on fucking marketing, conquer the social platforms. And now they're launching their own world reserve currency. Nobody fucking covers it, bro. Cause it's all propaganda. The United States was busy focused on January 6th hearings and whether or not Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was wearing fake handcuffs during her arrest last week, Russia joined forces with China to create their own new reserve currency. Yes, it's happening, guys. Just let that sink in for a moment. Let that wash over you. Russia and China officially announced a new global reserve currency. I don't think you guys understand the severity of being in the U. Yeah, but we got guns. What are you gonna fucking do, bro, when they make the dollar worth less than it already is, bro? This new currency will be based on rare- Holy shit. Are these guys putting this shit back on the gold standard? Are they getting rid of fiat? Holy shit. Fiat money is a government issued currency that is not backed by a physical commodity such as gold or silver, but rather by the government that issued it. The value of the fiat money is derived from the relationship between supply and demand and the stability of the issuing government rather than the worth of commodity backing it. It's based off of trust. Do you think that the value of the fiat money is derived from the relationship between supply and demand? What happens when the supply of purchasing dollars is no longer relevant because you can buy oil and do a whole other shit with another currency and the stability of the issuing government. What type of fucking stability does this country have, bro? None, zero. China are moving their currency to gold. Russia Central Bank gold reserves since 06, the last 13 years. This shit's gone from 200 tons to 2,200 tons. These motherfuckers have 10X their gold reserves. A ton of gold is worth 51 million bucks. That's 51 million times 2,200. Shit. These guys have over a hundred billion dollars in fucking gold. They can issue any fucking currency they want, bro. They're rich as fuck. Inside Capital Club, we're gonna be teaching stocks. We're gonna be teaching crypto. We're gonna te be teaching fundamentals. But at the end of the day, it's important for you guys to know your shit, bro. This means that Russia and China are tying their country's fortunes to minerals that they bring out of the ground. Out of their own fucking countries, bro. So genius. All of this, while we're sitting on oil reserves in our country, we're sitting on hella money, we could literally take over the world, but what, what's happened is our government has been so corrupted, nobody's in it for the interests of the people, bro. Everybody's in it to make their own fucking bag and dip. We saw in the video yesterday, or the day before, BlackRock, is out here doing business with China. So if this isn't like a, a like a wake up call to you motherfuckers, like do you think America is gonna always be around the way that it's been around? Do you not see that we printed out of thin air tens of trillions of fucking dollars that the money that you have means nothing, zero, zip. And they got you fucking concerned on Kim Kardashian's ass. They got you concerned on fucking transgender queer bullshit. How much more clear does this have to be, bro? This ain't no fucking 
Tate wannabe. This ain't no fucking Sneeko wannabe. These are concepts that rich people in the world understand. When you are rich, you do not belong to a country. You are self-sovereign. That if a country fucks you, just like America has fucked everybody in this country over the last years with $1,800 fucking stimulus checks. Just look at how Russia started stockpiling gold over the last 20 years, while the United States went further and further into debt and printing money. Just Damn. look at this chart. And this was all happening right out there in the open. Here is a headline two years before the war with Ukraine broke out. China and Russia ditch dollar and move toward financial alliance. And we've had some recent dollar strengthening a little bit, but that's peanuts compared to what's actually happening because these BRICS nations have been in the only reason we've had dollar strengthening is because people have fucking sold the dumbass overinflated stock market and crypto market. Do you know who this guy is right here? He's the president of fucking Brazil. Look at the b biggest meat producers in the world. You got fucking Brazil number four right there. Got all the land, got all the minerals, and they control a massive supply of all the meat that comes into America, bro. Bro, they're coming for everything, bro. They're coming for your fucking food supply. They're coming for all of it, dude. And then you hear a fucking India, bro. India's just an absolute monster machine. India's still third world country because of the levels of corruption and they have their system of not being able to like leave your social bracket. Doesn't matter like how far you make it, you're still like capped. In the midst of a 20 year plan to de-dollarize. So when I tell you that you have five to 10 years to get rich as fuck and get out, you better listen to me, bro. I'm gonna be chilling somewhere in Southeast Europe with my fucking yacht, with my boat, with my oceanfront house. You're gonna be out here fucking slaving away for Putin's ass. Even before the Ukraine conflict started, both China and Russia were stockpiling gold and working on denominating transactions outside of the United States dollar. It was another secret that was all right there out in the open for anyone to pay attention. It all is, everything is out in the open for people to pay attention, but people don't fucking pay attention, bro. Understand this one thing. You'll look back at this video one day and you'll realize, damn, this motherfucker was right. People say, oh, this shit's generic. This shit's, I heard this shit everywhere. But how, why is your life shit? If you know so much, if everything that I teach is so obvious, why is your life just an absolute piece of garbage, right? I wouldn't trade my life for your life. A literal zero chance I would exchange my life for your life. Uh, somebody said, when is Discord coming? We've been working on the Discord for, for a long ass time, guys. Like I said, Capital Club will become the largest decentralized entrepreneurial network on planet Earth. It's not, it's not a maybe, it's not an if, it's just a matter of time. Okay, I've dedicated my entire existence to this and whatever I put my mind to, I accomplish, period. A massive challenge the US dollar, which isn't based on gold or anything. It's based on air. Not even air, bro. Air is more valuable. It's on trust. And that's what the matrix is. Yes, the US dollar is a debt based currency. The United States is $30 trillion in debt. So how do those two things work out for us, right? China and Russia are sitting on mountains of minerals. The United States and Europe are clamoring for. Nah, I'm moving to China. Fuck that shit, bro. <laughs> I gotta go find a neutral country out there, bro. I gotta go find a neutral country. They're begging for them, right? They'll place sanctions on Russia for almost everything else but the rare earth minerals that we need to survive. Just look at Europe. They knew this was coming. They are solidifying their currency, real minerals, and the West is scrambling to figure out what the heck to do. I know I'm not supposed to be pulling up the president of the US, I can get banned, but I don't give a fuck. While these, these global superpowers are taking over, this is the bullshit we're dealing with. This set makes sense to, you know, no, I'll put it another way. It makes no sense. Come on, Come man. On, man. We have to uh, make sure that we, uh, we are in a position that we are, well, let me, let me go this. That's too hard of a sentence, let me simplify Check it. it. Ah oh, man. My grandpa was named Andrew F Ambrose Finnegan. This is the motherfucker you all voted for. While China, Russia, India are fucking taking over the entire world. You know, the rapidly. Look, with the fucking mask over his ear, bro, he's a bitch. Rising, uh, um, uh, in with, uh, uh I don't know. Uh, uh... Oh. Oh shit, my entire country collapsed. This is you guys. Till the world literally comes and fucks you over because you've been playing comfortable your entire life. This is you. Oh, 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 oh. Corn Pop was a bad dude. Imagine you're Putin and you're watching this shit. What do you say? You know, there's a, uh, during World War, 
two, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that, uh, you know, was totally different than a then the, the it's called he called it the you know the World War Two he had the war the the War Production Board. Bro, if I'm Putin, bro, I'm invading this shit. I say fuck the dollar, and I say I'm invading this motherfucker. Come on, man. Come on, man. How much more clear is it supposed to be? So forget oil and gas. One of the most important minerals that comes from Russia is uranium. The United States gets almost 50% of its uranium from Russia. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has precipitated an already fast accelerating global nuclear industry as nations now must try to fast track their pivots away from fossil fuel. So basically, in a nutshell, Russia has made it impossible for foreign leaders to trust Russia and China. And they're laughing all the way to the bank right now. And that means the United States and Europe are in dire need of its own uranium production, something- Yeah, good luck. Now, now, something unthinkable happened just a year or two ago that no one really talked about. I need you to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. If you ain't subbed, fuck you. If you subscribed, I appreciate it. I can't be like Mr. Beast being like, oh, hey, like nice like sub subscribe i ain't like that bro mr beast is a g though not gonna lie european lawmakers approved a law designating nuclear as a sustainable energy source as part of a system that was intended to influence direct investments in clean energy now russia supplies about 10 percent of the world's uranium it could cut off supply to the world's nations at any moment we just saw what happened with gazprom right and the natural gas pipeline to germany bloomberg has learned now that Fucking cutting gas lines, bro. Wait till Germany, wait till Germany gets fucked, bro. Gazprom actually declared force majeure on at least three European gas buyers. Everyone was freaking out about it just because they shut it off for a few days, right? And so now Russia and China fully leverage energy dominance to their geopolitical advantage. And everyone else is scrambling. And America is dangerously close to losing our uranium fuel. Close? This man's fucking lost it already, bro. Base. We're nearly completely dependent on foreign uranium import. Nice. We have state entities that provide America with, with uranium. Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. They're supplying almost half of all of the fuel. I wonder I wonder if we invade Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. I wonder if we invade them in the name of terrorism. Watch that shit come to reality, bro. Because nuclear reactor fleet. Think about that for a second. Our nuclear power plants, our nuclear reactors are reliant on Russia. Just let, again, let that sink in. Nations that were previously dead set against nuclear energy proliferation are now leaning into nuclear friendly initiatives. Because the proof is in the numbers, guys. Has recently started up its first nuclear reactor in over 40 years. 40 years, bro. Dependent on some other motherfucker. Kingdom announced plans to increase nuclear capacity from 7 gigawatts to 24 gigawatts by the year 2050. France, which already depends on nuclear for 70% of its electricity, that it would reverse plans to shut down their older reactors. They're going to build another six new ones by the year 2050. See, everyone's getting on board, even Germany. Economic ministry there considering extending the use of its three nuclear power plants as public support for nuclear energy increases due to the current fuel shortages and the prospect of a permanent cutoff of Russian gas. Just talked about Gazprom, right? And the Netherlands, not to be outdone, plans to build at least two new nuclear reactors in the coming years. Really, the United States and other nations have no choice except to adopt nuclear power as a fuel source because solar and wind are simply not going to get us there. We need uranium in the United States. UEC is the largest company based in Texas that can get us off of Russian uranium. It's a dire scenario as the deficit is widening. Just listen to this. As of 2020, global uranium mine production covered only 74% of the world reactor Requirement. So analysts expect the market deficit to continue through this year. Still need more uranium to keep up with the demand in these nuclear facilities. Meanwhile, the Financial Review, look at this. Crazy, bro. It's that the U.S. domestic uranium industry is limited to just one remaining commercial enrichment plant owned by Urenco in New Mexico. I got to do some research on that. But as you guys, as you guys know, that's the bullshit we're dealing with. That's the bullshit we're dealing with 24-7. Let's lighten it up with some Borat, baby. Run it. And it is illegal for more than five women to be in the same place. Hella illegal, bro. In the USNA, many women meet in a groups called the feminist. Bro, I love this man, bro. I hate the second movie. He kind of like, he went like hella political, right? Is that just me? So what I mean is that this feminism, it's the theory. It's a theory that men and women should be equal. False. Feminism is about hating men. That women should be equal to men. Women are not only equal to men. Women have more rights than men do. Bro. What happens when you're fucking married and your kid gets put into custody? Women win like nine times out of ten, bro. Look at all the fucking bullshit Johnny Depp had to go through in order just to like alleviate his name from that bit. In matters, economic, no, social, you are laughing. And yeah, political. that is the problem. 
Do you think a woman should be educated? Definitely. But is it not a problem that a woman have a smaller brain than a man? That is wrong. But the government scientist, Dr. Yamak, have proved it is size of squirrel. Your government scientist? Uh, yeah, so Dr. Yamak. He's wrong. He's wrong. Give me a smile, baby. Why angry face? <laughs> well, uh, what you're saying is very demeaning. Do you know the word demeaning? No. No. We are saying to you. I that could not concentrate on what this old man was saying. All I could think about was this lovely woman in her red water panty. Who was this CJ? Last night I see in my hotel room um, a woman called a CJ on a television. Do you know her? No. no. Uh, she uh, from a town called the Baywatches. Uh, she's just on television. Her name is Pamela. Does she live here in New York no, City? No, she lives no. in California. Yeah. Oh, in the California. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look her up. <laughs> okay, can we finish now? Listen, pussycat, uh, smile a bit. Finish All right, it. Uh, yeah. that's it. Okay, I'm done. We're finished. We have to leave. Let's fucking go, Borat. All right, pussycats. Hope you guys enjoyed. I had fun. I hopefully you guys had fun. 